Okay, so if you know me, you know that I do not like Google. I hate Google with a burning passion. And I urge you to stop using Google search because Google search is probably the, I mean, it's not the worst search engine, but it's one of the most widely used search engines that I think is just horrible because for multiple reasons. One, they, first thing is they just straight up block websites. They can manipulate search results. Um, they, of course, log all your search results and, you know, sell that data or do whatever they want with it. And so, and not only that track you across sites, but it's, it's gotten to the point where, you know, Google as a search engine has become progressively worse and worse. And so today, I'm going to be showing you some way better search engines um, that actually either respect your privacy or are just better in every way. So I'm actually going to go ahead and start with probably the most popular search engine that everyone and their grandma has heard about. And that is DuckDuckGo.com. And DuckDuckGo is, you know, everyone, mostly everyone knows about DuckDuckGo. Uh, if you don't, then you've probably been under a rock for who knows how long, but uh, it doesn't have any like fancy like you know bells and whistles to it. It does what Google does, but I would say it does what Google does. But it's it does everything that other search engines does, but better without tracking you and without um, you know manipulating search results. So let's actually let's actually look up something. Uh, let's do let's go to Linux. And yeah, you can get rid of that. They have pop-ups if you if it's not your diesel if you follow search engine sometimes. But yeah, as you can see, when we get Linux, we have these few results up here. And so actually, let's go back to DuckDuckGo.com. And you actually notice that their front page is actually at least it was a bit messy. Um, but you can actually go to Start.DuckDuckGo, and you'll get a way less messy homepage that's a lot more clean. And if you actually want even a more simplified, clean version of that, you can actually go to duckduckgo.com slash light. And what it'll give you is this plain text web page. Maybe not plain text, but very simplified streamlined web page where all you can, if I look up Linux, it gives you the same results, but you don't actually get like any like, uh, supplementary material like images or stuff like that. It only gives you website links, which is actually pretty useful if you just want links or stuff, other websites. So yeah, that's DuckDuckGo. That's probably the most popular one out there. Um, and now I'm, I'm, I'm going to be getting into the realm of more and more uh, obscure or lesser known search engines. The next one I'm going to be covering is uh, is going to be Brave Search, and this is this one's actually still in beta, so I wouldn't fully recommend it because they're still sort of testing it out. But let's actually look up Linux. Uh, you can see actually um, it gives us a slightly different result, but yeah, you can see that we get different results because Brave Search actually uh, is actually uses their own search algorithm and their own techniques to actually get these search results. I think I think it's not quite independent yet, as you can see, I think, by this chart right here, but they're, um, oh, they're slowly getting there. Uh, that's why it's still in beta. But yeah, Brave Search, uh, I would say it's, it's a pretty decent one to check out. I would probably recommend checking it out once it's fully released, though. And so next one is also uh, an independent search engine that doesn't um, that uses its own search algorithm, and that is Mojik.com. And like I said, they use their own independent search algorithm, so I can go ahead and look up uh, Linux, and I will get uh, different results. As you can see, we actually don't get Linux.org as the first result. And so it'll give you different, res uh, different results because it uses a completely different algorithm. And so this one's actually a pretty interesting, um, I guess, deviation from the normal Google search. But uh, next we're actually beginning to, uh, if you like 
the way Google works and how it looks, I would honestly recommend using Quaint.com. Although Quaint isn't as, as you guys can see, it's actually, it's not as clean as the other ones. Like this one had obviously shows you like news and all this stuff. I'm not a big fan of like having news in a search engine, but that's just me. If you like it, go ahead. But yeah, Quaint is, uh, as you can see, it's definitely inspired by Google search. Like, like the, um, the layout and all that is very, very close to what you'll see uh, for Google. But yeah, and as you can see, it's, it's actually, uh, it has pretty close search results. It's actually, I think Quaint actually pulls their um, searches from Bing. Um, and so that's, it still depends off of Bing, but you're not directly going to Bing, which is better. Um, and if you want, if you want something like Quaint, but actually uses more of Google search results, you can actually go to startpage.com. And startpage is another alternative search engine. It's like Quaint, but I think they base their search results more off of Google search. And let's actually look it up. Uh, yeah, you can actually see we get search results more on uh, what you get on Google.com. But yeah, those are um, two other search engines. And yeah, the next, I think the rest of these search engines I'm about to show you are very interesting search engines. I wouldn't say they're niche search engines, but they're, they have their own, they have their own quirks to them. The first one, uh, I'm going to show you, the first and probably the best one, in my opinion. I don't know why I don't use this, because I actually use DuckDuckGo, but I should probably use this search engine more, is Surex, uh, or Cirex, however you want to pronounce it. Um, and what Surex is, is it's not actually one search engine. It's Surex actually is a program. And basically, it's not actually one search engine. It's a program that, that you run or not, the user doesn't run, but servers run it. And basically there's different instances of Surex. So there's actually not one, one definitive Surex search engine. There's an entire list of, like these are all, all the, um, you can see 84, um, all the search engine, uh, all the Surex instances, which is just crazy. But let's just say, um, I'll find an example of one. How about Surex.be? Good, and you can, as you can see, uh, Sir X or Sir X N G. Like, there's, I think there's two different versions, but yeah. And let's actually look up Linux. And as you can see, we get these. Uh, I'd say probably these are basically the same search results we get from Google, but the difference from cert, uh, other search engines is that Sir X actually collects is a meta search engine, so it collects searches from different other search engines. <laughs> which is pretty interesting. Uh, now that if I want to go to a different instance, this one was Surex Belgium, I can go to swag.pw. And as you can see, there is a completely different instance. As you can see, it actually looks pretty different too. Um, let's look up Linux. And uh, we, I think these, uh, the search results are actually slightly different, but as you can see, it gives you like, a different layout for everything, like uh, for the like, Wikipedia article on the side, and all these. You also get a lot of different categories. Do like you can do general images, videos, news, map, music, a lot of other things. It's also dependent on which search inst search X instance you're using, but it, it gives you a lot of flexibility. Um, oh, search X that bar. Let's try that. Uh, let's look up Linux, and as you can see, we have a completely different search results. Uh, Linux.org is still in there, same with Linux Mint, but there's a lot of different search results popping up. Um, not only that, we can also search for files as well under Surex from different file search engines or image from different image search engines and so on and so forth. You can even search IT uh, search engines, which are things like GitHub or the Haskell search engine or lots of other things too, or even the ArchWiki. You can do maps as well. Uh, with different program or different websites like OpenStreetMap, I think OpenStreetMap is actually the default. You can also do music, uh, different <laughs> different music platforms as well. Uh, news, although to be fair, getting, if you're getting your news from the internet or even from like main search engines, what are you doing? But oh well, some people do that. Uh, and also science, social media, 
Um, yeah, sometimes it does result in errors. It's not a perfect system, uh, as well as videos. And you can actually you can actually go to preferences, and you can actually if you go to engines, you can actually change all these things. Like for example, for general searches, we have we're getting searches from DuckDuckGo, Yahoo. Yeah, just DuckDuckGo and Yahoo. But let's just say I want to add. Uh, let's add Wikipedia and uh, Google. Mm, yeah, seems all good. Not do emoji. Why, why not? Uh, and so you can actually let's go say that you can actually add these search engines engines the search X and you can search more more search uh, search engines. So for example, um, yeah, sometimes sometimes they um they actually block them like. It depends what instance you're using of SirX, um, but like, like I said, there's so many different instances you can kind of pick and choose. But yeah, you can get uh, you can get search results from a bunch of other search engines around the web. I think what was it for engines? They offer things like the Pirate Bay for files. Uh, I don't I like F Droid stuff like that. Images, lots of other different image uh, programs. Uh, IT, they offer stuff like the free software directory, the ArchWiki, GitHub, Google, etc., etc. Stack Overflow. Uh, same goes for maps, music. As you can see, there's a lot of music platforms. Uh, news, science, social media, although there's only two, um, and videos. And overall, if, if you if you want choice above everything else, one second, I'm trying to get back to <laughs> Sir X. Uh, yeah, if you if you want if you want choice above everything else, I would definitely recommend Sir X, and it's probably probably one probably my favorite search engine. I don't use it, even though I probably should, but it's probably my favorite search engine out there. Uh, so next uh, is oh yes, uh, Wibby. Uh, me and what Wibby is is uh, these next two search engines are actually going to be pretty. I would say niche search engines. They're not. They're not going to be searching the entire web. Wibby.me is a small website search engine, so you can search. Basically, what it does is it indexes small websites. In fact, you can actually submit pages here if you want to submit a small website. And so, if I actually look up Linux. You can actually see that it's, uh, yeah, I guess you can find the Arch Linux wiki right here. But almost all these websites are like small websites that, that no one's ever heard of. Uh, maybe except for a, a few people. Like, uh, was it Distro Watch is there? That's a popular one. An Arch Linux wiki, but otherwise there's, yeah, it's, it's more of a small website search engine. In fact, they do have a pretty interesting feature. It surprised me. It does bring you to a random website. It's like Simplicity Boats. <laughs> You don't, you don't find these things on Google or any other big search engines, which is why it's actually why I have it uh, as one of my search engines, which is pretty nice. Uh, so yeah, next, uh, this is the final search engine. It's it's peaker.com, and this one's actually very unique because peaker is it's a general search engine, but it does it searches in an interesting way. Let's actually look something up. What Peaker actually does is it actually pulls up previews of every web page that you search for. And so let's just say I want to look at the Wikipedia article. If I hit this, it'll actually pull up a preview, a interactable preview that I, I can actually look through and see if I want to actually visit this website. If I do, I can just click on here and it will bring me to the website itself. Here we go. Yeah. And this one's actually, this one's actually very 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 nice if you don't want to actually if you want to actually see what the website is before you go to it like let's just say there's some scammy looking website and you don't know if it's actually legitimate you can actually just preview it beforehand and take a look at it uh, but yeah this one uh, Peeker is actually pretty pretty interesting but yeah that's all the search engines I really have in mind that Really, it's up to you which one you want to pick. Honestly, every, any one of them is better than Google in its own way. But, 
yeah, that's that's basically all the search engines that I to show you. I I like I said I use DuckDuckGo, but I should probably use Surex to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's. Well, any of the one of these search engines are is better than Google, and I recommend that you say that you do not use Google. So, that's it for today. I will see you whenever.